Hello everybody, here I'm back with blocks in the east. I want to call it bricks in the east and I've said it a couple of times but of course it's blocks in the east. As you can see I've now laid out the map. It's two maps actually, you can pull them apart. Um, and I want to briefly look at the actual blocks today. And um, this video is not for people who know how to play block games and it's not for grognards um, because what I'm, I'm teaching myself how to play a block game. I've never played any of those before. So now I'm going to try and explain to myself and to everybody else who wants to know how block games work. And I'm starting with the actual blocks. I'm going to explain the different types of units there are. So if you've played this game before, if you've played a similar game before, this is not for you. It'll contain a lot of redundant information, so feel free to tune out now. Um, or feel free to keep listening, because I'm sure I'm going to make mistakes, and then you can all correct me in the comments. So, um, yes, that's Aries. And of course he needs to... Move. Yeah. Okay, so um, here we go. I've laid out the different types of units. Um, for the different groups and of course you had to walk all over them and um, we will start with the axis forces and um, what we have here and I'm gonna zoom in is a leader counter this is mr. Antonescu and he is basically one of um, the Axis leaders, I assume, well, I haven't checked, but he must be Romanian going by the name. The next lineup we have are the tanks. And here we have simply different types of tanks. And each unit, as you can see, has, well, each block um, has um, the type of unit it is at the center, so this is the symbol for tank, and you can see it over here. It's the same symbol for the Russians as well, and it's it's a symbol that you will be familiar with if you've played this kind of um, war game before. So, for example, Panzergruppe Guderian uses the same kind of um, imagery. Um, and it's not necessarily very intuitive. I mean, I can imagine why this is a tank, but when you look at the symbol for infantry, I mean, that reminds me of a letter. I don't know why they, well, of an envelope, really. I don't know why they chose this. So it's not really intuitive, which is why this game also has a separate set of um, uh, stickers that are more intuitive. So basically, they would be easier to grasp. Anyway, each of these blocks has a couple of um, pieces of information on it. Um, and the most notable thing are the figures. One, four, three, two. And these are basically steps. So when something happens, um, you, you need to understand where, um, you know, um, where the top is. At the very beginning, um, if a unit has a dot, and if it's an axis unit, the dot has to be in the top, uh, in the bottom right hand corner, like it is here. For the, Al for the Soviets, it has to be in the left bottom corner. So you can see that this is correctly aligned at the moment. And as you progress, <clears throat> and as things happen to the units, um, the, they lose steps. So basically, this is a step four. If it loses a step, you turn it over, then it's a step three, two, one. So it's 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 very simple and very easy. So instead of, for example, piling on counters that signify hits, um, you actually count down and you do it by turning the the um, block. So here we have had the tanks. Next up is the um, is the tankettes. So. They are basically tanks that have been, you know, a tank symbol um, superimposed by a um, by an infantry um, symbol. Um, then here you have the artillery, so that's basically um, a rectangle with a dot in it. 
and this one is a special one because it's got a name it's called Gustav so um, this must be a very powerful very unique kind of weapon that the Germans decided to name down here we have um, infantry but it's mountain infantry you can tell because there's a little mountain symbol so they're basically um, trained for mountain warfare. Um, I wonder if they are the same as the German Gebirgsjäger. If this is if this is um, what they signify, I'll have to check up on this. Now this one, as you can see, is wrong because it should have the the bottom the the green dot at the right and um, bottom corner, and this is infantry. And down here we have um, a couple of different types of counters. We have these ones. These are headquarters. This one over here is as well. This one here is as well. And then we have um, different types of aircraft, fighters and bombers. And here we have a, a submarine. And down here we have a another. This is uh, this is um, cavalry actually. These are cavalry counters. Same goes for um, the Soviets. Here we have um, a leader. This is uh, Stalin. Here we have um, tanks. And these are actually elite counters. These ones that are kind of like, you know, sh um, that look kind of a little more fancy. Those are elite counters compared to these ones here. This isn't elite, this is basically just monochromatic. Here we have, um, sorry, bottom left corner, again a tankette, a Russian tankette. Here we have Russian um, artillery, Russian mountain um, infantry, um, elite infantry, normal infantry, and yeah, then we have um, bombers, fighters, two a Leningrad and um, BAL. I'll have to check out what that stands for. But these are basically headquarters. And down here we have um, cavalry. So these are the main counters. And now how you set up is also described. Like I said, I have, I have read the rules. Um, they take some getting used to, but um, I'm sure I'm going to get there sometime. Basically, um, you, you, you set up using certain rules. And the first um, scenario that I'm going to play is called the road to Leningrad because it's um, the easiest in the game. So I'm going to give myself a gateway scenario to start out with. Um, and the map area is Germany, the Baltic States, Soviet Union north of the Dvina River. So what we will have to do is we will have to see the part and we will have to find the map area that corresponds to this description. So we need to find the Dvina River because it's um, uh, quite easy to identify um, the um, <clears throat> Uh, da, 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 da. Moscow, Leningrad, Danzig, um, uh huh. Now I'm wondering, it says Germany. Unfortunately, I cannot see Germany anywhere here. Now that's a bit odd. Um, okay, I can see Belgrade, I can see Odessa, I can see Danzig. Danzig and Königsberg definitely were part of Germany back then, but I, for example, there is no Berlin. Am I missing a map? Now that would be that would be odd. Okay, now let's check the contents. Um, is there a content sheet somewhere? Scale. Uh, that's really interesting. And um, da 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 da. 
two eighty seven by sixty two centimeters map boards. One booklet with Germany's strategic map. Okay, so basically, oh, oh, I get it. So we set up on this small map here. That's the map of Germany. Okay, well, yeah, I, I, okay, I thought this was just an overview of map, but um, I stand corrected. So basically, this is the map of Germany. It's kind of really small, as you can see, compared to the others. But hey, it's it's doable. It's not a problem. Okay, so basically, you would set up um, in Germany for the forty one. Um, Baltic State, Soviet Union, north of the Dvina River. So again, looking for the Dvina River, Donetsk, Krasnodar. Where is the Dvina River? Um, okay, I'll have to. I'll have to uh, get out a real. Oh, north of the Dvina River. Okay, so basically. Um, this is here, so it would be up here. Um, so I suppose I don't even need the second map, so I can play this on one map. Um, and the Axis player wins if he conquers Leningrad, which is over here. Um, <clears throat> and, or at least can cut any communication possibilities with Siberia, which is up there. Um, okay. So the setup is according to the BSS, um, Barbarossa standard setup, but deploy only the Baltic and Leningrad military districts for the Soviets and the army group north of the Axis, uh, for the Axis. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out what the army group north of the um, Axis is and which the Baltic and Leningrad military districts, I mean, how I set them up, but basically... Yeah, oh, okay, I get it. The, 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 there are different dots and they have different colors. So this here is Finland, um, Tampere, Lahti, Helsinki. And they have yellow dots. <clears throat> um, then we have, uh, well, they've all got yellow dots. So because it says here, the colors of the military districts are white in equals Leningrad, blue, Baltic, yellow, western, green, Kiev, orange, Odessa, and brown, Caucasus. Generally, the Soviet Union must be deployed on the east side of the Soviet national border, which is the red line. Okay, I'm going to have to find a red line. Oh, that's the red line here. Um... All Soviet units with a colored dot with a colored dot must be must be deployed in the appropriate Soviet military district, so that every hex on both sides of the Soviet national border with Finland, Germany, Poland, Hungary, Romania, Turkey, and Iran is occupied by a Soviet Union a unit or is in a Soviet unit's Z O C. Ah. So I believe. This is an elite tankette unit, and it's got a green dot. So this means it's part of the Kiev um, military zone. And Kiev is in the Ukraine, so it shouldn't be even part of this um, of this. Uh -huh, okay, so yeah, this is this is going to be interesting. Um, I have to say that I don't find the setup description extremely intuitive for this game. Um, so um, yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm yeah I'm I'm. Yeah, I'll I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to work on this because it would have, I mean, I would expect that somehow the military districts are also marked on the map. So if Kiev is a green, is the green, um, is the green district, then I would expect, first of all, to find Kiev on the map, which at the moment I can't. 
but I would also like it to be somehow green. Um, so like I said, I mean, I don't know where Kiev is. Kirov, no? Um, okay, well, like I said, I mean, um, this, is, this is going to be very interesting um, with regard to um, my knowledge of geography, which I always thought to be quite good, but um, I can't even find Kiev on the map. So like I said, this is going to be very interesting. Um, I've now given you a brief overview over the, over the different units and also over how to set them up or maybe not set them up because I'm struggling with this, but I won't give up and there will be a follow-up um, video to this. Okay, bye!